Happy Hump Day Wednesday, my Young and the Restless fans. Hopefully you're having a wonderful one. We've made it to the middle of the week. We got another dramatic episode in General City. Look like an intervention. I'm going to give you a couple of highlights and then we'll go ahead and unpack this episode. First, we see the Abbott family come together to do an intervention for Ashley without Abby. We also see Audra telling Sally that Tucker proposes and Audra is is still declining Tucker's proposal. So without any further ado, let's unpack this Hump Day Wednesday episode in Genoa City for April 10. So emotions are running high as Ashley finds herself at the center of her family's concern and tangled relationships. At the Abbott Estate, Ashley loved ones gather as they worry as they confront her about her recent behavior. Guess who shows up? Tucker, her ex-husband, unexpectedly joins them, adding to Ashley's sense of unease as she perceives the gathering as an intervention. Now, tensions escalate as Tucker, Jack, Diane, and Billy, and Tracy express their genuine concern for Ashley's well-being. Tucker, in particular, highlights alarming behavior, including threats Ashley allegedly made to Audra. He also announces that he proposed to Audra. Now, Ashley, feeling cornered, defends herself vehemently, insisting that she's been misunderstood and unfairly judged by her family. Ashley's siblings, especially Tracy, is pleading to acknowledge her struggles. We even have Ash that's inside her head, screaming for Ashley to wake up because she needs help. Now, despite the, her family efforts to offer support, Ashley began lashing out. She's handing out all of their bad behaviors right back to them, feeling betrayed and misunderstood. The confrontation intensifies as all of these past grievances surface, furthering straining fragile relationships. She starts out by telling Diane about faking her death and having a breakdown. Diane said, look, I got the help and therapy saved her. And then she comes after. After Jack. Jack actually owned the fact that he had to deal with pills. He got the help that he needed through therapy as well. Ashley then tells Billy that he just feels good because she's on a lower peg than him now. I mean, she is taking swipes at everybody. She moves on to Tracy. Diane leaped in to defend her. Ashley declares that she is done with this. She heads for the door. They stand in her way. And since she won't seek help, Jack said that they're going to have to bring help to her. Ash is screaming at Ashley to wake up before Mrs. Abbott take them all down. Meanwhile, Audra is seeking solace in her friend Sally, expressing her confusion and emotional turmoil. Audra reveals Tucker's unexpected proposal, which she declined, fearing that it would complicate their dynamic. Now, as they dissect Ashley's behavior, Audra grapples with the possibility that Tucker's lingering feelings for Ashley influence his proposal, adding another layer of complexity to their relationship. Tucker then unexpectedly shows up with a big old smile and a sense of relief. As Sally leaves, they have a conversation in regards to what happened at the Abbott house. He said, look, I have told everyone that I propose to you. And at this point, it is their problem to deal with Ashley. However, the conversation did come back with the facts of reconciling with Audra and getting married. Audra remains skeptical of Tucker's motivation. She ultimately reaffirms her commitment to the relationship without marriage. Tucker, relieved of his guilt, pledges his devotion to Audra, signaling a new chapter in their whole complicated situationship and romance. Okay, so there you have it. Let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. What did you think about that intervention? Yeah, Ashley tried to hand all of that back, bringing up old resentment, thinking that she was going to hurt her family. Can Ash wake up Ashley to stop Mrs. Abbott? Also, what did you think about Abby not even being invited? Her own daughter wasn't even there. And then, yeah, the situation with Tucker and Audra, I guess they'll just ride off into the sunset in their little situationship. Make sure you stick around for the bold and the beautiful recap for today as well. We still got Finn questioning Deacon's sanity as, of course, Deacon saw 10 toes and Finn thinks, yeah, you're losing your mind. Uh, Sheila's gone. Let me know your thoughts. 
Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you're notified every time a video is posted. And until the next one, we'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.